Kyburn is at Cersei's side when she confirms that a head brought to her by two bounty hunters does not belong to her brother Tyrion. Kyburn asks for the head for use in his research. Later on, at a meeting of the small council, Cersei appoints Kyburn as the new master of Whisperers to replace Varys. Grand Maester Pycelle protests vehemently given Kyburn's outcast status, and Kevin Lannister denounces Kyburn as a sycophant and Cersei as a power grabber. Kyburn is present at a small council meeting when the High Septon demands the execution of the High Sparrow after his followers attack him. Kyburn informs the council that the High Septon had been at Littlefinger's brothel. Later, Kyburn kills a rat as part of an experiment when Cersei enters his laboratory, giving him a message that she once sent to Petter Bellish. She also asks him about the state of his work, while glancing at Gregor Clegane's covered body, and Kyburn assures her it is going very well, though there is still a way to go. Soon after Cersei leaves, as Kyburn writes, Gregor begins shaking under the blanket, but Kyburn shushes him calmly. Kyburn is at the meeting of the small council when Mace Tyrell departs to negotiate the crown's debt with the Iron Bank of Bravos. Kyburn visits Cersei while she is held prisoner by the High Sparrow, informing her of the charges being brought against her, fornication, treason, incest, regicide, and that Grand Maester Pycelle has sent for Kevin Lannister to serve as Hand of the King. He also informs her that King Tommen has become despondent following Cersei's arrest, and that he refuses to eat or see anyone. He suggests that she can simply confess to the charges and plead for mercy, subtly warning her that if there is a trial, the faith will not wait for physical evidence to reach a verdict, only what they simply believe to be true, but she initially refuses. Finally, just before leaving her, he informs her that, the work continues, referring to his experiments on Esser Gregor Clegane. Eventually, Cersei confesses to her relationship with her cousin Lancel to the High Sparrow, who agrees to set her free on the condition that she perform a walk of atonement. After Cersei enters the Red Keep following her walk, Kyburn hastily rushes to her side and throws a cloak over her naked body. He then speaks to Cersei softly and reassuringly as he embraces her, attempting to soothe her. Pycelle looks upon the scene with disgust. Kyburn remarks upon her poor state and bleeding feet. Kyburn then introduces the newest member of the Kingsguard, the seven-foot-tall abomination he has been working on. At his behest, the Golden Knight picks her up and they walk away together, further into the Red Keep so Kyburn can clean her up and treat her wounds.